welcome to another episode of Adam and Jen on the Move. Today we've got something completely different for you. Today we're going to be looking at the little mods and little trinkets, little things that we've done to the caravan um, to personalize it and make it more user friendly um, after having the caravan now for four years. Uh, and we have finally paid it off so we can do anything we want to this baby. Um, so sit back, have a little look, but it is Jen's Caravan Designs. Here we go. Enjoy. Bathrooms are very important to every girl. Every girl likes their bathroom. And some girls, like me, like a bit of sparkle in their bathroom. So I added some. There is actually a good reason for me doing this, but I'll show you it first. So I have added mirrored, <laughs> tiny little mirrored tiles. They are tiny, tiny. Hello, hello. So you're in the shower and you can wash your hair and you can see yourself every person's nightmare oh my god <laughs> but these were really handy because this has started to yellow on this side especially here and whatnot but because the shower screen comes to there it was protected from the light so it's white on this side yellow here and you could almost see the line from the door so I decided well I'll fix that and stick the tiles down and now even though you could see it if you looked hard it just distracts the eye from you noticing that there's actually a little bit of a color change there so and especially because most of the time the door is closed anyway you don't see it and it's just quite glamorous I mean not that anyone wants to look at themselves when in the shower because you know it's not always a good thing but you know, if you want to see if you've got suds in your eyes or anything like that, or did you get all the makeup off your face? Um, I've got a little personal mirror, so that is handy. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, not for everyone. But anyway, and again, just a couple more stickers. You know, just a couple little cuties. Adventure, I did actually have some that said love and beautiful, and they peeled off obviously because duh, Jenny. Uh, water is running all over the stickers and they were you know squishy ones um so obviously over time they fell off and they've left a stain of love and beautiful so that is going to have to be one thing that i'm going to unfortunately have to buy more decals or stickers to fix so that'll be fine so another thing that i did that wasn't uh, essential at all I just saw uh, I saw these uh, in Kmart and thought oh where can I put these you know these could really look amazing and they are the stick-on tiles um, do it yourself stick-on tiles so again our whole kitchen has been this dark marble which I love there's no issues with it at all but it goes up the walls and it went all along here and I just wanted to lighten it up a little bit so I've put on these stick-on hex hexagonal tiles. They come in just sort of squares like that. Um, and they've just lightened it up and made such a difference. I am still in the middle of doing the corners. So I've bought some more tape that I need to, to fix here. So that's been the only pain. So that's sort of what it will look like. But because my cutting wasn't absolutely superb as you can see I've had to yeah get some tape around there but a little DIY you know not too bad um, and I think it just really lifts it so there's another little thing that has made a difference to me makes me feel good actually this is all about me feeling good Adam he already felt good about the place so he's fine so that's that one another one in keeping with my safari fit theme is my fabulous hooks. Don't you just love them, hey? The deers on either side. <laughs> he of course didn't necessarily want one, but you know, you gotta be symmetrical. So he's got one as well. So they're just super cute. And we've got the diesel heater hook hanging on one side. And on this side, obviously I've just got 
random things that I like, but I do hang my earrings and my glasses actually sit on the antlers. Um, at the top, when I go to bed, um, necklaces, things like that, I hang that on. Scrunchies. So they're super handy and they're, they're so easy to install with just a little nail in, um, didn't damage any walls and they cost maybe $5. So again, that was a purchase online. Oh my goodness, I'm addicted. Um, so that's another thing. So I just bought these online. I love pearls, so it suited me down to the ground. And these have always just been hanging and when you're sort of sitting here, I just sort of find that, you know, they're in my way a little bit. I'm forever sort of tucking them behind the lamp and the light and that sort of thing. So I have had ties in the past, but I wasn't happy with them. And then this, just this little rope here has pleased me beyond belief. How something, it's magnetic get the fabric out of the way how something so simple gives me so much joy and it actually looks quite classy so thankfully I bought six of them two of those there the two in the bedroom and even Adam gets some um, he gets my plant too which he's not happy about because it gets in his way all the time but I love it because I can move it around on the TV hook so macrame holders and plants are also your best friend. Obviously part of my safari theme continuing on the floor is with Billy the goat rug which I adore and again I know that some people will find that horrific but I find it masculine but sort of in a in a classy way that's just me and also it individualizes this caravan so super fluffy and soft on the feet you wouldn't think so but it but it truly is so that was a really nice um, design idea that I think only I like but anyway that's fine decals oh my god decals do we not all love decals so I actually um, ripped a little bit of the wallpaper off because not realizing that Jayco caravans all of this beautiful wood look is actually just paper I, I guess that's so it's not laminate it's just paper that's stuck on so if you put anything like a hook or something like that and stick it to here take it off and a lot of the time it will actually leave a mark and that's what's happened over here I've had some pictures and whatnot pulled them off and um, it has left a devastating mark so I don't you know, um, what do you do? What do you do? You cover it up. That's what you do. So I got my favorite photos from um, a trip around Oz and these are peelable. So they actually do come off and you can remove them and put them in other places. Because of the fact of what I just said about the paper, I'm not game enough to pull them off. Um, but I love them. I mean, I, I'm obsessed now. I would, I would get more, but I think I've, I think I've filled this wall up quite well. Uh, a couple of the leftovers that I had, I did one on the fridge and I love this picture. This is beautiful. This is uh, Kingscliff, New South Wales, but just a lovely picture. So that goes on the fridge. And as we walk into the caravan, I've got this WA, South Australia, Queensland, Babenda Boulders. So, decals. You can't go wrong with decals. Oh, I think I had a few spare as well. some for the loo. Why not? A little bit of Bustleton, a little bit of Broome and a little bit of Cleaverville off the WA coast. So yeah, perfect. Obsessed I think obviously. I've got a giraffe. I didn't know what to do with it so I thought I'll hang my dustpan and broom on there. So that's a cute one for the bathroom. 